Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brother Jared here. I hope you're all having a blessed day. Um, you know, I have so many ideas for this channel. God has really been just talking to me here lately. And um, really, though, what I want to do on this channel is really reach out to the youth. Because I know that a lot of kids use sites like YouTube and VidMe and all those other sites. And I really want to reach out to the kids. Um, you know... We live in a day and age where it's not cool to be a Christian. Um, it used to not be like that. Back 200 years ago, you know, the teenagers didn't say, oh man, you know, you're a Christian, that's lame. It wasn't like that. Uh, times were more based on survival. And, you know, everyone believed in something. But these days, it seems as though it's cool not to be, you know, religious or not to be a Christian to uh, you know be your own God as the atheists say or you know to, to, to be part of these trendy new age bullshit religions that really aren't even religions they're more or less just atheism uh, worship of self but I want to talk to you guys about the good Lord and how it is cool to be a Christian and I want to tell you guys why that is um, you know Jesus Christ was the one cool cat. He really was. Uh, he never lost his cool. That's not to say that he didn't show righteous anger, but he was a really cool guy, and he always spoke in parables. The reason why Jesus Christ spoke in parables is because he wanted people not only to understand, but to touch their hearts so they could really feel what he was saying. This is why Jesus Christ told stories. Uh, and he knew this too, and that's why he did it. Because anybody can be a speaker, but to really reach out to someone, that's how you bring them to God, guys. And so I want to try to reach out to you guys and let you know that you're all awesome, amazing people with great potential. And Jesus Christ loves you, whether you like it or not. God loves you guys, and he wants to have a relationship with you. Uh, you know, Jesus, like I was saying, he, he, he loves everyone. You know, he loved prostitutes who were the most hated of all people. He loved tax collectors and he ate with them. No one else did. And Jesus was hated because of this. He was a rebel, guys. That's why Jesus Christ was one cool cat. He did what nobody else did for his time. And I'm telling you guys, if you want to be a Christian, that's being the ultimate rebel. It's going against the ways of the world. And the ways of the world are sin. You know, guys, uh, it reminds me a lot of these liberals. You know, these, these filthy, disgusting fucking liberals. Um, who think that they're rebels. But really, they just... They follow what media tells them. Like, news sites like CNN. You know, it, CNN loves people like Antifa. I can promise you guys, they love them. Um, and all these other liberals, they're not rebels. They're part of the system. But to be a Christian is to remove yourself from the system, guys, because we live in a wicked world. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, guys, listen to me. Jesus Christ is the only way, the only truth, and the only light. And that's coming right out of Scripture. There is no way other than Jesus Christ to get to heaven. Jesus Christ, guys, listen. Whether you know it or not, he does love you. And even if you cursed his name, even if you said, you know, you know, lol, you know, fuck Christians, Christians are gay, he still loves you. <laughs> and that probably pisses some of you off. But you know what? Guys, it's never too late to turn to God. It's never too late. And I want to pray for all of you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord God, please touch the hearts of all the youth. Bring them close to you. Bring them away from evil and the snares of wicked. Lord God, please protect the children. Keep them from evil. Keep them from turning away from you. Uh, bring them close to the light. In Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. Guys, listen, you have a choice. You can choose the path of good, or you can choose the path of evil. Uh, it's your own destiny, whichever you choose. 
I pray that you choose the right one, even though I know a lot of you are going to choose the wrong. And for those people, I just pray that God will have mercy on their souls and that they won't burn an eternal hellfire. Uh, I've known some pretty sick people in my life, um, some very sick people who claim to be good, but aren't. Um, they, they walk with Satan. They do not walk with good. They walk with evil. And I think deep down they know this. And um, I can tell you guys, you know, um, you don't want to be that person because people like that, they have no real future. They have no real anything. They're just vacant lost souls. And I pity them. But you know, there's hope for all of us guys. No matter how deep in sin you are, you can always come back to the light. So God bless all of you. And I'll see you next time. Peace.